The number of minutes of daylight per day for a certain city can be modeled by the function d given by d of t equals 160 cos blah 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 plus 700 blah blah where t is the day of the year and oh look the days of the year which of the following best describes the behavior of d of t on day 150. So it's very 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 tempting very tempting to just plug in 150 into this get some number and try to find your answer but the problem is is it's not asking for the value it's asking for the behavior so what we have to do is we have to graph this function so i'm going to pull up a picture of the function uh there it is of course i'm pretending to pretend that the picture is right there but what's important here is at 150 my graph is doing this at 150. So the behavior of my graph at that very moment is things are increasing. So we want increasing. So let's eliminate some answers. The number of the minutes of daylight per day is decreasing? No. The number of minutes of daylight per day is decreasing? No. So it's a toss up between A or C. Now at this moment, we have a concave down thing going on. Okay, we start out steep, but it's slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. So when you have a concave down section of an equation that's increasing, it's increasing at a decreasing rate. So my guy is A. And if you're like, wait, wait, what happened? Well, if I were to look at the slope at this moment right here, at this moment right here, the slope is pretty steep, but then it gets less steep and then less steep and then less steep. So what's happening is my rate is decreasing even though my number of minutes is still increasing. So the answer is A based off of the picture that I pretended to show you in my mind, but I actually showed you in reality. Try wrapping your brain around what I just said. I actually can't really do it myself.